so far we've been talking about assembly files, um, but let's see what eDrawings Professional can do for us uh, in a drawing file. So again, it's uh, SLDDRW, that's the file extension. So let's open a drawing. So I created a simple drawing with an isometric view and a bill of material. And I want to send this uh, to someone for some initial feedback. So I'm just going to close out of it and open this same file in eDrawing. Okay, here's my native SLD DRW SOLIDWORKS file. And I'm just going to add a quick markup. Let me zoom to the area where I want to mark up. Click on the markup tool, add a comment, and go ahead and create an annotation. I'm going to create a little cloud here and then a leader pointing to that. And that's my comment. And then as far as the design, I'm okay with it. So that's it. And you can just go to File, Save. Let's close it. Go ahead and accept the yes. Okay, let's open the assembly. And then I'm going to right click and open the drawing. And there you see my markup just appears. Um, and the reason for this is there's a feature tree item called eDrawing Markups. And if you have any stored in that file, it will show up on your tree. And if you're not sure whether you have that turned on or not, just right click up at the top and go to hide show tree items and you want to make sure eDrawing markups are either set to automatic or show and then click OK and then anytime you have a markup it should show up on the native drawing file. Okay that's it for eDrawings Professional. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.